In this video, we are going to talk about trypanosomes, which causes the disease trypanosomiasis in the human body or to the kettles. It comes under the genus Trypanosoma. There are two species of trypanosomes which causes disease in human. The one is Trypanosoma cruzi and the other is Trypanosoma brucei. The disease that Trypanosoma cruzi causes is American trypanosomiasis or Chagas disease. And the disease caused by Trypanosoma brucei is sleeping sickness or African trypanosomiasis. There are two subspecies of Trypanosoma brucei. Number one is Trypanosoma brucei gambiense. And the other is Trypanosoma brucei rhodesiense. Both causes sleeping sickness. But the 97% sleeping sickness is caused by the gambiciency and only 3% is caused by rhodesiency. The gambiency is found in West and Central Africa and the rhodesiency is found in East Africa. And the trypanosoma cruzi is found in South America. The sleeping sickness caused by gambiciency is chronic and the rhodesiency is acute type. The vector for both of them is Setsi fly, but the species of the flies are different. The species for gambiancy is Glossina palpalis and for rhodesiancy is Glossina morsitors. But the vector of Trypanosoma cruzi is kissing bug. So in this video, we are going to talk about the life cycle of Trypanosoma gambiense. In case of Trypanosoma brucei, the transmission is salivarian. That is, the fly, the vector, when it sucks the blood, it transfers the parasite through saliva. And in case of Trypanosoma cruzi, it is starcorarian type. That is, when the vector sucks the blood, it causes a wound and it releases the parasite through the feces. And the feces contaminates the wound and the parasite gets inside our body. So let's start with the life cycle of Trypanosoma brucei gambiense. So this is the Setsi fly, which is the vector of the parasite. When it the fly sucks the blood of a human. It transfers the metacyclic trypomastigote, which is the infective form of the trypanosoma parasite. When it gets inside the blood of the human, it travels throughout the blood, the lymph, and later to the spinal fluid. After the metacyclic trypomastigote form, it forms the trypomastigote in the blood of the human. This trypomastigote goes through multiplication in the blood or the lymph and later in the spinal fluid. It divides and forms lots of trypomastigotes in the body fluid. In the later stage, it can reach the CNS and it can cross the blood-brain barrier. It can cross the blood-brain barrier and reaches the spinal fluid. When it does so, it causes the sleeping disorders. That is why it is called sleeping sickness disease. It causes day sleeping and night insomnia. And that's why it is called the sleeping sickness disease. The trypomastigotes again forms a stumpy form or a short form of it. The trypomastigote stumpy form and it also has the slender forms both present in our blood. When another 
fly the set see fly it sucks the blood of an infected human or any other vertebrate it sucks the trypomastic goats inside the gut of the fly so let's zoom into the fly body the fly gut and understand how the trypomastic goats inside the fly transforms so this trypomastic goat is now inside the body of the fly the set say fly and it transforms into procyclic trypomastic goat and the procyclic trypomastic goat goes through binary division or it multiplies itself into lots of the procyclic trypomastic goats after the stage it transforms into the epimastic goat the position of the flagella is slightly different in epimastic goat and the epimastic goat from the gut of the fly goes to the salivary gland and with the help of the flagella it attaches to the salivary gland wall and after this stage the epimastic goat transforms into the metacyclic trypomastic goat which is the infective form now when this fly again sucks a new human being it again transfers the metacyclic trypomastic goat to the human